Good morning. Good morning. This morning we're going to talk about faith and courage. As you saw from the past week, I'm sure the world was watching the 33 miners who were saved this past week. They proved that faith was strong. Think about it for a minute. 17 day, 69 days underground, 17 days in total darkness, and brought up 70 days later. A lot of faith. For 67 days, they were trapped in the mine, like Jonah was trapped in the belly of the fish. If you open your Bibles to Jonah 3, 3 through 7, and it says, So Jonah arose and went into Nirvana, according to the word of the Lord. Now, Nivani was an exciting, great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nivea shall be overthrown. So the people of Nivea believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth, and from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For a word came upon the king of Nivea. And he arose from his throne, and he laid his robe from him, and covered him with sackcloth and sat in ashes. And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nivea by the decree of the king of his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, nor herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water. And Jonah was cast out and put into the belly of the fish for three days and then resurrected. The miners were underground, were underground for more than three days, 67 days to be exact, but they never gave up, they never lost their faith. For 17 days trapped underground with nobody knowing if they were still alive. They kept their faith and their courage to stay alive. Now, in order to have faith, you must have courage. Right, church? They believed that somehow that God would free them from the belly of the fish. 1 Corinthians 16.13 says, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be men of courage. Be strong. Now the main point here is courage. When we walk about, when we talk about courage, we have to look at Daniel. So if everybody would turn with me to Daniel 6. 19 and 20, 19 through 22. And it says, Then the king arose very early in the morning and went into haste unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto, unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servant continually able to deliver thee from the lions? Then Daniel said unto the king, O king, live forever. My God hath sent me his angel and hath shut the lions' mouths that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him in the sea was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. So he was thrown into the lion's den. The lions didn't attack. The, lion, the lions, God sent his angel down to shut, to shut the lion's mouth, and he came out unscathed. Why? Because he had faith. And in faith, you have courage. Now you're probably asking yourself, a pastor, why would we need courage in today's world? Look at the miners. But let's answer you this way. In Joshua 1, Be strong and of good courage, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, and you may have good success wherever you go. 
This book of law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may be careful to, to do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Be not frightened, neither be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. To keep your heart in God's in God takes courage, lots of it. Just walk around and try to talk to people who don't believe about this and see what happens. You need a lot of courage. Here's another example. In the Penis comic strip, Linus is the one who always drags around the blanket. Because his blanket gives him security. Without the blanket, Linus is lost and afraid. But somehow, with that blanket at his side, Linus is able to go forward into a new day with confidence and courage. Let's break that down for us. To us Christians, what is our blanket? Right, amen. To us believers, the Bible is our security. And without the Word, we would be lost. Like Linus, with the word, we are able to go forward with confidence and with courage. It is true that anyone who wishes to be courageous in the world today fights an uphill battle. Sometimes it can be, it can be seen, it, see, it can seem that everything is stacked against you in terms of the law, the economic system, the religious, the moral beliefs of the majority. All these things can seemingly oppose us at times. It's easy to feel that it's just not possible to have courage. And indeed, it's even easier to feel that there's simply not any reason to have courage. We can begin to feel like the cowardly lion that was left in the forest of the land of Oz without any courage, except that, unlike the lion, we have no desire to go find the wizard in the Emerald City and ask him to give us courage. We instead simply decide that courage wouldn't do as much good. Anyway, in this world, why worry about being courageous? We can't change anything. Why not just go with the flow, take things as they are? These miners for the first 17 days were living in total darkness with no communication to the outside world. Kept their faith I believe God would save them. Then after 69 days, they were all rescued by the grace of God. If the miners weren't courageous, maybe the miners would have been dead. Maybe they would have given up. Or if they gave up their faith, would they have been rescued? Remember, in another mine collapse, 19 miners were trapped and all but one died. This time, all 33 miners were saved. Don't you think you need courage to live in that mine for 69 days, not knowing if you would ever be rescued? How many of you would have just given up? That experience should be an encouragement for us, that no matter how grim things look, if you have strong faith in God, He will deliver you. Psalms 34, 4 says, I sought the Lord, and He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. And in closing, we all want the courage to face life's challenges, decisions, crises, without letting ourselves get down. We want the courage to fight these battles with God at our side. We want the courage to fight these battles with the optimistic hope that God holds us secure and safe as we fight. And through the practice of reading, applying, studying, and living the words of Scripture, we can indeed have that courage. The cowardly lying in the Wizard of Oz found his courage when he was given a testimonial medal. Why? Because the medal was a symbol that he had done great, courageous things before. And that therefore he could do them again if he needed to. In the same way, God has demonstrated time and time and again that he can succeed in any situation, that he can conquer any foe. The, word, the words of this book 
that we, are, that we are called to meditate on are a testimony of God's strength and everlasting might. And therefore, we too can be courageous, courageous enough to stand up and take life by the horns, knowing this, in the words that God spoke to Joshua, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Like lioness, we should drag our blanket around as it will give us strength and keep us safe and secure and give us the courage we need to face the world. If you don't think God is watching us in this world today, remember the story of the cave-in and the rescue of the miners in Chile as a living testament of God's work. like the miracle <coughs> it's like the miracle on the Hudson where they landed the plane in the Hudson and everybody on there was saved so a little, little thing for you to remember Pastor Jessica will come up and do our benediction today Worship need not see. Worship need not cease. It can echo in our lives, in our words, and our deeds, in our moods, and in our dreams. Carry worship with you wherever you go. Be a blessing in your going and in your coming in. Amen. <coughs>